Located in the Champlain Valley, Alex Kasky of Bardell Brook Farm practices silvopasture, a form of agroforestry that integrates livestock, trees, and forage into one system. Project Drawdown, a nonprofit that analyzes climate mitigation strategies, ranks silvopasture at the top of the list for all agricultural solutions. Cheap, 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 cheap. All right. You're the lucky ones then. I think everyone else is still grazing the other spot. You good? All right, here we go, everyone. Our farm's about five years old, we would say. This is, we're going into our sixth full season. But from the beginning, we farmed uh, with the climate in mind and specifically um, agroforestry being sort of the fo core of what we do. The way I would describe our farm is that we are a forage farm and a tree crops farm. And what I mean by forage farm is we're just trying to grow grass, pasture, and um, different trees and shrubs to feed our livestock, uh, livestock being Katahdin sheep. And then on the tree crop side, we're, we're growing out a lot of different things in the nursery, uh, persimmon, chestnut, hazelnut, mulberry, pawpaw, hazelnut, elderberry, serviceberry, tulip poplar, sycamore, I think that's most of them. There's probably a few more I missed. Um, and the whole goal is to develop, um, I would say we're trying to identify and proliferate genetics, both sheep genetics and um, tree crops genetics that are optimized for agroforestry systems, uh, specifically silvopasture in the context of the sheep. So just uh, the, the amount of positive impact that trees can have on the micro uh, ecosystem of the farm or microclimate, I should say, are just, it's profound how much they can positively influence things. Um, and in times of severe heat and drought, they give shade, they keep uh, mo more moisture on the ground and, and available for the plants. In times of extreme rain or, or heavy precipitation events, they're gonna slow that water up and, and keep more of it on the farm. And then in the winter, um, if they're planted densely enough, or if you plant conifers, they're providing windbreak and shelter to the animals. So having them on the farm, trees and shrubs in particular, just so many benefits, um, both for the humans working among them, the livestock interacting with them, and then, you know, the original inhabitants of this area, which are all the pollinators, reptiles, amphibians, birds, mammals, etc., that uh, call this place home. So another huge benefit of agroforestry and silvopasture in particular um, is the carbon sequestration potential. And that's something that's very important to me, even outside from farming, just climate change and climate mitigation is something that I care deeply about and, and uh, want to contribute to in a positive way. When, when we start adding trees and shrubs into a system, um, the carbon sequestration potential is not insignificant. And some of it's the carbon they're storing in the wood itself, the above ground portion but it's also um, all the carbon that's being stored below the ground in their root systems. And now there's exciting research being done, not just on the roots and the carbon that that's storing, but all the relationships with the mycorrhizal fungi, the other microbiota in the soil, and um, so much evidence showing that when trees are part of the system, the amount of below ground carbon being stored is so much more than if you just had pasture, you just had a grassland.